What's happening with your snack and snacker stars? It's Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, along with Hugh Will Mahoney over here. S snack Tom Pally, it's the big game, baby. And let me tell you something. Did you know the XFL is back? That's right. And the, <laughs> the big game, man, it's the Redskins against the New York, New Jersey hitmen here. Only in the XFL, NFL crossover universe can this happen in the big game. Or perhaps it can happen in the SAS championships. That's right. I hope you're enjoying the big game here at halftime. I hope you have decided not to watch Coldplay. Nobody needs to see Coldplay. Nobody needs to see the Coldplays, but you do need to see the SAS championships, and the champion is back to defend this championship. Right, right here. That's right. It is Dorito Salsa Verde. You can't get them very regularly here nope. in this area, so we get them specially flown in all the way from Montana. That's right, because the championship, at least once or twice a year, gets to defend its title when we find something that's of the same vein. Yeah. So, out of nowhere, a contender has emerged. Like, you saw a few weeks ago, I think Alex and I reviewed the uh, Ritz Toasted Corn Chips Original Flavor. Uh, these are, out of the blue, Salsa Verde flavor. Mm. Uh, I think Jane Smith actually reviewed these. I hope you're enjoying the, the, the game, Jane. Hope your team is winning. I don't know who you have, but uh, <laughs> I, I know my team ain't winning because they ain't in it. But uh, <laughs> let's see here. These are toasted, not fried. Salsa Verde, artificially flavored. Yeah, it says it in big letters there. Oven baked, not fried. Yo. And they're made of corn and wheat. And the ones you had before, those are quite strong. That's I right. like them when I got to taste them after you and I, Alex, reviewed those. That is so right. So these could be very interesting. So we got to go with the Challenger first, I'm assuming. Yeah, absolutely. So we can review that on its own. And then we will see how it compares to the championship. Could the championship be unseated today? From the Nabisco Company, of course, which I think is owned by Mondelez now. And there, I got them open after some struggle. Okay. Of course, the uh, team from Carolina is taking on the team from Denver. Right. All right. And of course, you know, being that the team from Denver is probably a little more hungry. Right. They probably like to snack a little bit more. Oh, I'm sure. I'm but, sure. That's that. Oh, I get. I get what you're saying there. Yeah. So you're trying to be all slick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these definitely have a very, very fresh. Uh, Aroma to them, scent right off the bat. Is there, some, is there some heat to the scent? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, very spicy smelling. Yeah. Not necessarily hot, it but. It smells like real salsa verde, not yeah. like what these smell like, I'm, which smell like salsa verde Doritos. I'm getting the lime and cilantro. Yeah. And That's what I'm getting the scent of. A bit of a tomatillo, I think, is what you make most yeah. of the uh, thing out of the. But wait, real quick, what is that? They're showing them in guacamole. That's guacamole. Yeah. They should actually show Salsa Verde on here somewhere yeah. so you get an idea of what it is. It's like green salsa, but they actually show it with uh, Salsa Verde. I mean, with uh, guacamole anyway on that yeah. side. That's weird. They're heavy on the powder. Yeah. I'm noticing that right off the bat. Otherwise, they look chip-wise just like the other ones look. They're kind of triangular. They're flat. They're not um. They're not greasy. They're 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 a nice solid looking chip. Gonna be rolling around and getting <laughs> the uh, the chips in my bed, like yeah. DDP and the cookies. They all DDP and the cookies. Yeah. That's as a rib right there. Anyway, let's try out let's the see. challenger, see if it can unseat the champion. All right. Waiting for it. Waiting for it. Um. There's no heat. No. Which, I mean, you know, I guess... Depends on what you put in your salsa verde. Some people put jalapenos in it, some people don't. But this doesn't have it, I don't think. There's a little bit of lime, mm -hmm. a little bit of cilantro, mm -hmm. zero heat. No. Zero heat. Now I've had about five or something like that. Maybe a little build. No. It's a nice tasting chip. I'd eat it with a dip. Yeah, it needs something more. Yeah. But, I mean, I can already tell you before we open that. Oh, yeah. Now. This ain't unseaten, no, uh, Champion here. This is like what uh, Brock Lesnar versus Bob Holly yeah. from Royal Rumble. Yeah, this is there's 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 no zip to it. There's no zap. There's no punch. It's just it's a nice tasting chip. Mm -hmm. But I was expecting a lot more from these, but especially compared to those first ones y'all reviewed. Yeah. I really like those first those ones. Those are addictive. These are these are weak. These I'm not crazy about. I'm now to rate these. I mean, God. I'm, I 
gotta go really low. I'm pretty. I'm going to third. I'm yeah. really disappointed by him. I'm not into him at all. I mean, I'm not gonna go that low. And oddly, they're the same amount of calories, although you get two more chips in the serving of this. <laughs> Uh, for that amount of calories. So I guess they do win in that aspect. Um, other than that, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give them like a half of a thumb up. Disappointment. Let's move on to the salsa verde yeah. Dorito. Do a side a formality here. And do a side by side. Yeah. Because I mean, the angry, fiery salsa verdes that we know and love. Oh, and this bag compared, when, when these got shipped out here, we received five bags and they got kind of, you know, crunched up in shipping. These are in much better shape. Oh yeah. This, I've tried to grab a bag that felt like it was in really nice, good shape. And of course these have a much more yellow, corn looking deal. With the two side by side, you got the salsa verde over here and the Ritz weak chip on the other side. Mm, yeah, they've got that salsa verde Dorito smell. They somehow managed to smell like salsa verde and Doritos at the same time. Yeah. Like like the regular nacho Doritos, kind of. Even though yeah. there's, I don't think there's a cheese in here, but yeah. they do have that scent. All right, let's get the... Mm. And it's all about that heat, that mm -hmm. sweet it, heat. It, it hits right away. Yeah. You don't have to wait for it. Mm -mm. It doesn't have to build. Mm -mm. It hits right away. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not crazy heat, mm -hmm. but it's satisfying heat. And it's a heat that builds really nicely as you keep eating them. Mm -hmm. You get the heat first, you get the corn chip on the back end to kind of even it out. I mean, the champion chip. This is what, is that a third title defense, I think? I think so. Yeah. People, we need a contender. Someone, someone please, as Harley Race would say, somebody take the damn money. That's right. Somebody take on the championship. Give us a worthy contender out there, folks. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and still SAS championship yes. is Dorito Salsa Verde. Bow. Bang. Indeed. Mm. Knockout win. Critical, yeah. if you will. Mm. Like in Fire Pro Wrestling yes. over there. Oh my god. Oh man, these are fantastic as usual. No need to go on and on about Charlie that. Charlie Bulleri knows a winner. That's mm. right. Number seven from your New York, New Jersey hitman. Man. Daryl Green from your Washington Redskins. <laughs> That's right. We're not them, but mm. hey, whatever. Ma'am. Now, here's the thing. You know, we've tried to make it so that this has to take on uh, similar chips, but I think right. what we're going to have to do is break the mold. Okay. And the next defense is uh -huh. going to have to be against something different. Okay. Something just out of the blue different. Like and a barbecue chip? Perhaps that chip, uh -huh. whatever chip it may be. We'll go to the potato genre. Could shift the balance of the championship. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No one's no one's getting close to these. That's right. And the closest we've got is maybe someone's gotten like a half mm -hmm. compared. I mean, it hasn't been uh, close remember at all. Remember the Safeway ones? Yeah. Well, anyway. It's been weak. Weak contenders. Go back to mm -hmm. watching the big game. Mm -hmm. But first, what you need to do before that is go down in the description below. Uh, when you do that, you're going to click on it and uh, join the SAS group on Facebook with hundreds of the coolest people in the group. You should be in the group, too. Why aren't you? Get it with it. Also, uh, follow us on Twitter at Brandon Reich SAS and at Heal Will Mahoney. And you know what else to do? You take at Brandon Reich SAS and at Heal Will Mahoney. You can use those tags on Twitter. You can also use them on Instagram. We're on both under the same names. And you know what? Since it's the big game, what are you snacking on? Tell us what's your big treats today at the Super Bowl. Tag them with hashtag Snack Society. Put them up on Instagram. Put them up on Twitter. Put them up on Facebook. Tag them. Show us what you're snacking on. Do you got some wings? You got some chips? Wines. Dude, what else you got? You got some dip? Sausage. Sausage, some sausage. What do you got for Pizza. the big game? Pizza, burgers, whatever. Show us what you got. We'll get it out there. We'll discuss it. Show us the best snacks for the big game. And when you do, you know what you become a member of? You become a member of the SAS, but you also become a member of the Four Horsemen. When you like, favorite, share, mm. subscribe. In the meantime, in between time, get back to the big game. Thanks for spending halftime with us. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Better than Coldplay.